please welcome the Hussy Hicks. <laughs> Thanks, Mark.
Well, straight up, I must say, we feel absolutely on, honoured to be able to be one of the first bands ever to perform in this bar. Um, I don't know how to say it any better than that, but we... <laughs> this, isn't this wonderful? Yeah. Mike and Di, you guys are superstars for creating this. And uh, we're going to play two sets of music so everyone has a bit more of a little break to maybe get some more wine, talk amongst yourselves. Congratulate everyone involved for getting this happening and then we'll come back and play a bit more. It is, uh, it's magnificent to be here surrounded by a whole bunch of history. Um, and, uh, you know, history that uh, is being preserved so that we can hang out here in this beautiful, beautiful space. And, uh, you know, we may as well acknowledge the... Uh, traditional owners of the land, past, present, future. Uh, and we might do a song from an album that we made uh, in the very deep south of the USA, um, a little town called Mobile, Alabama. We got to hang out in a studio on Dog River and uh, record with some Alabama Hall of Fame music legends. So uh, this song is called That Old Heartache. I think I'm just really enjoying you playing slide, so. <laughs> I'll get there one day. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm Lisa and this is Jules. <laughs> Yeah. 
thanks. How you all feeling? Yeah. yeah. Phew. We might work back through the albums and do one from the album before that. Oh, that sounds great to me. <laughs> a little song I wrote uh, back in 2011 when everyone was sure the world was going to end in 2012. That's right, when was it? It was going to be November. Yeah. November 28 or something? I can't remember what the... Do you guys remember that? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't when, uh, you know, when everyone was worried about the millennium thing. That was another time that the world might have ended. Yeah. We're hanging in though, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> It's always good to indulge, like, the occasional sort of extinction cult. Yeah. Makes you value sort of each day a bit more. Yeah. So that's what this song's about.
That's my uh, throw caution to the wind and party every day sentiment song. Why not, eh? You know? Who knows what could happen? Um, do you all have wine? Or a lovely, uh, lovely female brewed beer? There's a couple of options. If you don't like wine, there's some lovely beer brewed by women. If you don't like that, there's cider brewed by the same... <laughs> um, we fortunately like beer, wine and cider So we've come to the right part of the world <laughs> uh, Thank you, yes <laughs> I can't believe it's taken this long for us to come and play shows in South Australia It's um, so good to be here You just drive to the gig and you're like There's a fabulous winery Oh my god, they do their own met for us Oh, there's a brewery. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you're a free settler. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you. Um, oh, uh, the wine is good, though, isn't it? It's very good. Yes. Uh, it's, it's fertile terra. It's fertile ground. What's the first word? Terra. Rica terra. Rica terra. So good. Rich. Rich earth. Rich earth. That's the one. Um, so we were lucky enough to um, play a house concert um, for a friend of ours who is here tonight, Rachel, um, last night. And uh, we also drank some lovely wine. Um, and I, because of that, I sang this song last night and really enjoyed it, so I thought we might do it again tonight. But um, if, uh, we're, as you get to know us, um, you'll learn that most of my songs that sound like love songs um, are not actually love songs. They are about very strange things. Um, for example, this song, which sort of sounds like a heartbreak song uh, or a breakup song, is actually about a lovely bottle of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then I, I, I do silly things like say, I'm not drinking for a couple of weeks. And then I just stare longingly at those <laughs> lovely bottles of red wine. So here we go. This, uh, this song is called Look What You've Done. <laughs> Let's see if anyone can relate to this one. <laughs> i 
So normally, we would now just let this night race away and keep playing forever. But in the interest of our future, which is very against the last song I sang, <laughs> we're going to do one more song and then we're going to take a little break, just a little top up your glasses, talk to your friends, celebrate what's happening here, break. Then we're going to come back and run away into the future. And we've saved all the good ones. Yeah, this is so honestly, these have been away. the throwaways. We don't even normally play these ones. This is like B-side city, so do <laughs> stick around. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do one more of these throwaway B-side songs. Well, we're just having a yap. Can you guys um, give a whole bunch of love to Michaela and Arise who started the show tonight? Speaking of A-sides. Incredible. Thanks, you guys. That was beautiful. Jules, did you have a song in mind? I well, just going back through the albums, as has been the, um, let's do My Fault. Ooh, okay, yep. Yep. They might go. They might go, but they might come back because it's so, like... <sighs> this is another one of mine that sounds like a love song, but it's not. <laughs> it's not about hot chips, although I should write a love song about hot chips. <laughs> But they've got to be like idea. those hand-cut ones from a really fresh potato in really good oil. Like, stop it. It's a whole different stomach. <laughs> it's not cheating. Um, okay, like the whole thing? Like we're uh, really probably play. the whole song is a good idea, yeah. Um, okay, so another, yeah, another Love Gone Wrong song. As, yeah, not, not, but sounds like it. Um, about an argument and um, I'm actually, Jules might have a different opinion but I think I'm actually a really lovely person <laughs> and uh, <You're> 
I don't believe, you don't think you're a lovely person, do you? That's a lovely I, I think I'm quite nice. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, enjoy and that first I don't, 10 I don't get grumpy very often unless, I, unless I'm really hungry. Um, <laughs> hungry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, you know, and usually after you have an argument with someone, you really you try and work out like where you went wrong and how you can make it better. And I did all of that stuff and I still couldn't work it out. So um, instead I wrote this song and it's been about six years and now um, I get to sing it about two or three times a week and uh, it always makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> so the song is called My Fault uh, and I think we've all agreed that it wasn't.
Is it my fault now? Thank you. We're going to grab a super quick break. How do I explain to these people that those were your worst five songs? And now they're going to come back and hear your best five songs? Serious? I don't, I'm speechless. Uh, don't you go anywhere. Um, see you guys. You guys are awesome. And we'll see you in about 20 minutes. And I'm going to let you all go mingle. Just public service announcement. There's apparently a few people that haven't worked out that our bins are just outside there near the gate. And apparently there's a few trays of brownies and a guy ready to make coffee who obviously can't make them for everyone all at once. But there's, if you sort of space yourselves out, drink a wine, have a coffee, drink a wine, have a, you know how it goes. We'll see you in about 20 minutes.